Good day, Las Vegas, and welcome back to Vegas Vibes, giving you a peek at what's grooving and brewing in the music pageantry, live production, and fascinating scenes in the city that never sleeps. And I'm your host, Esmeralda Padilla Gold. I would like to thank the avid viewers of Vegas Fabs on Vegas Live TV, ACTV, WCTV, and Binge Networks TV. Especially those watching on my favorite devices, Roku, Kodi, Amazon Fire TV, Samsung, and LG Smart TVs, and of course, in my very own website, VegasVibes.us. Please continue to support my show and tell your friends to like Vegas Vibes on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. We continue to celebrate the Vegas Vibes moment that Las Vegas is half open, which means the music pageantry and live production scenes in the entertainment capital of the world has begun employing long sideline artists, performers, and highly skilled workers to slowly but surely welcome locals and visitors to its world-class entertainment and production stages. And before we know it, we'll be watching mega concerts and major sports events live and in person. When Vegas Vibes returns, I have a special treat for you. I'll intro you to a beauty queen, the Miss Philippines International 2015. So, don't go away. Welcome back. Las Vegas remains to host the best and the biggest resorts in the globe. And some of the best entertainers in the world live right here in this great city. It's bursting in the scenes with creative juices and those mega live productions can't forever be part in the shade. So start planning your trips to Vegas. And when you see a particular show or live event announced, book it without delay as tickets will come and go super fast. You snooze, you lose, so be on the lookout always. Binibining Filipinas, or Miss Philippines in English, is a national beauty pageant in the Philippines that selects Filipina representatives to compete in one of the big four international beauty pageants, namely Miss International, Miss Grand International, Miss Intercontinental, and Miss Globe. Now a resident of Las Vegas and married to James Valera in 2018, Janessa Lubina Valera is now cracking her Filipina eggshell and moving confidently into the Asian American community in the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas. Just recently, she signed up to be a co-host of a top-rated ACTV program which currently has millions of viewers worldwide, especially in Los Angeles and Las Vegas. Together with veteran TV personality Doc Michael Santawana, who currently hosts and produces Phil M News, another top-rated ACTV weekly news magazine show. Janicelle will report on matters that affect Asian Americans, especially those residing in Southern Nevada. This is such a big feat for Janicelle, and my upcoming interview with her has revealed so many interesting aspects of her life, which she has not shared with people outside of her family and closest friends. If you want to learn more about Janicelle, hold that remote till Vegas Vice returns. For thousands of years, our ancestors have treated diseases and sicknesses by natural means using plant and earth materials like herbs and trees. In just 100 years, mankind has developed amazing scientific advancements that allow us to enjoy a better life. However, without proper balance, a poor diet, and lack of exercise, our health can deteriorate. Inflammation in the body becomes our worst enemy when it comes to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. So how do we prevent our health from declining? Natural Medicine. A trusted name in the field of natural medicine is Herbax. For over 20 years, Herbax has been producing and distributing natural supplements. Herbax has developed unique patented formulas, duly FDA registered, that achieve optimal health results and help our body regenerate back to its normal functions. We invite you to look at Herbax to adopt new, healthier habits and live a natural lifestyle. Go to HerbaxUSA.com now.
Jingles are the way of life to sell everything from clothes, products, and houses. Jingalicious has been there for many corporate companies to bring them the customers they need to thrive big all year round. Jingalicious can create unique sound designs, jingles, and custom songs. Mention this video commercial and get any of our services for only $500 each, a savings of thousands of dollars. We want to invite new clients to Jingalicious to make their dreams or business succeed with Jingalicious. Call us now at 702-302-9212. That's 702-302-9212. Or visit our website at www.jingalicious.com. Jingalicious. Our jingles are ready when you are. Jingalicious. Welcome back to Vegas Virus on Vegas Virus. We feature amazingly talented people from many walks of life who contribute to making Las Vegas a unique global brand. And on that note, here with us today is Miss Philippines International 2015, and she's the newest addition to ACTV, the new mainstream network, as their news anchor on Asian News. I'm very pleased to welcome on Vegas Vibes, Miss Janice Lobina Valera. Hi! How are you? I'm great, thank you. Thank you for having me here at Vegas Vibes. Well, it's a pleasure to have you, of course. And we already have something in common, yes. which is... You know, we were Being both part of the Asian news. Yes, and not only <laughs> that, we were both born and raised in the Philippines. Oh yeah, we're both Filipina. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, um, you have recently found your soulmate here also in the United States. Oh yes, in Las Vegas. To be exact, is that where you met? Yeah, it, it's here in Las Vegas. But uh, we met through our common friends. I see. Mm -hmm. So have you tied a knot already? Are you tied a Oh knot yes, uh, we got married last 2018 here in Vegas. <laughs> it's wonderful. Well, um. You are also a former beauty queen. Yes. So what motivated or inspired you in your childhood that made you join the pageants? Well, as a young woman, maybe it's my first mentor because he see the beauty in me that me, myself, I don't even see it like, you know, right away. And after I joined my first pageant, it made me wanted to join more and be on the bigger stage. You know, to truly shine, which is the Binibining Filipinas. But you started when you were 16 years old. Yes, I've joined like six pageants. All, and for... All, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I joined um, six pageants. Um, different kind of pageants. But uh, my Binibining Filipinas is my main goal, really. The Binibining Filipinas 2015? Yes. The International? Binibining, yeah, Binibining Filipinas. Did you also compete internationally? Yes, it was in Bali, Indonesia. I, was, I joined as a... I represent the Philippines for Mrs. Guba International last 2012 when I was 18. Wow, <laughs> how was that experience like? It was great because I able to do some scuba diving out of the country and it's fun to do that activity because it was my first time also. <laughs> it was such a privilege to... Um, to have... Um, in, to have those kind of experience. That's wonderful. Well, I have a few questions here. What was the hardest sacrifice you had to make preparing for the pageant? Well, maybe food at first because I really love to eat a lot, especially rice and delicious food. But aside from that, it was the time that I am being away from my family for the longest time because for the preparations and everything, and I have to live with my mentor. I'm sure you made your family very proud of you. Yes, I so hope it was so. Worth it, right, not eating all the rice and uh, depriving yourself. I know of it's it's it, it's Great like it's been five years that I have to do that because every year I have a competition coming up. So it's like a continuous diet or being disciplined on what I eat every day, yes, <laughs> just to maintain the figure. Definitely. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> what was the best part about winning and becoming a beauty queen? What kind of impact did it have in your life? Actually, joining a beauty pageant is such a good privilege, especially for me, because um, it gives you a purpose. Like, for example, um, joining Binibining Pilipinas, they support the Operation Smile charity, which helps children to have surgery those uh, children who have a cliff condition. So it felt so good that you would able to be part of that organization and to help those people, especially those kind of 
kids that have special needs. Helping in your own little way. Yes. Being of service to your community. Yes. What is beauty in your own words? How would you define a beautiful person? For me, beauty is when how the people treat you, and you know, when they show how they care and love you. A person is truly beautiful when they are joyful because, you know, physical beauty will fade away eventually. But the love and kindness that you show with others will always be remembered. That's very true. I think no matter how beautiful you are, but if you don't have a pure heart, and yes. you don't, you're not a cheerful giver First, like you. Yeah. Then <laughs> yeah, and it felt so good also that you know you're able to help other people, and then in return they were so happy and blessed also by your good deeds. Do you remember a certain part of the competition that you think you have done so well that made you won the Coveta title of Miss? Philippines International 2015? Maybe it was, um, you know, I love performing. And every time I do the swimsuit competition, long gown competition, I feel so confident. And I know that I will do great at that. Maybe winning those two awards during Binibining Pilipinas um, competition may help me win the major title, which is one of the major titles, which is the Binibining Pilipinas International. You have mentioned to me before that there were naysayers mm -hmm. when you won the Coveta title. Yes. How did you cope with that? Well, actually, I really I take it as a motivation because the more that they will put me down, it makes me more want to uh, do more for me to be a better person or like to motivate me myself. It becomes a driving force. Yes. For you to better yourself. Yeah. It. It's. I, I don't hate them. I actually love it. <laughs> I love it. You're when, up to the challenge. Yes, it likes. It gives me more um, motivation. Motivation to do so, to do my best. I always tell my friends that you should just wish them well and move on. Yeah. It's the best thing you could do. Yeah, that's true. What valuable lesson have you learned this past year that keeps you hopeful, motivated, inspired during this unprecedented times? In the past year. I have learned to truly value my family and friendships because COVID has struck everyone in different ways. As a woman who has competed and won in the beauty pageants, what do you think is the importance of beauty pageant in today's world? For me, a beauty pageant helps women to show their talents and it's a good avenue also for them to learn or develop new skills and practice leadership. And it helps also for women to find their purpose to help contribute to our community. And have you found that purpose for yourself? Yes, for me it was um, to help others in my own simple ways. Um, you know, um, there are times that I ask my friends to uh, help this little town in Palawan, which we gave like books, um, notebooks for their schooling. Because during my pageant days, my advocacy is about uh, education. And until now, if I have you know a little extra, I would help small schools in the in Palawan, which is in my hometown. Having said that. What are your career aspirations now that you have left the pageant circuit? Well, right now I'm just trying different things in the different fields. But my biggest aspiration is that to go back to school and um, finish a degree which is in the medical field, maybe nursing. That's yeah. wonderful because you want to help others. Yes, and it's a good. Um, it's good also for me to practice you know help uh, other people like like for now i'm working at the home health agency i wanted to do what they're doing like they're helping older people you know taking care of them at the comfort of their house and it helps when you have a compassionate heart it yes. makes your job easy exactly. yeah <laughs> yeah and it felt so good remember yeah right when you help others it it's like um you're floating or you're just so happy yeah I love that feeling. <laughs> How do you feel about being chosen as the new host of Asian News on ACTV? I'm actually very happy that 
they chose me to be one of their family member, which is to be the anchor. Um, I never expected this, but I'm really grateful for this because it's a new chapter of my life. I would. Um, it's a great opportunity for me to to do something new also and learn in this field. Have you ever thought of uh, doing acting or being in the entertainment industry? No. Yeah. <laughs> there are offers in the Philippines, but I'm not really into acting. Yeah. What did you really want to do aside from being? Before I really wanted to be a teacher. Yes, but you know as. Why teaching? I don't know, maybe because I you love nurturing. And not only that, maybe because um, I, I'm, look, how do you say this? Like you are um, longing for that, you know? Um, during my childhood. It's your calling. Yeah, I, I think that's my calling. And most of my relatives are teachers. That's why maybe I feel like I want to be a teacher also. And what subject would you teach? Maybe English, <laughs> because English is my, is my frustration. But uh, I know in time, I will be good at it. So I just keep practicing. <laughs> exactly. What pieces of advice or words of wisdom would you suggest to anyone who is aspiring to become a beauty queen like you? For those aspiring beauty queens, um, never give up on your dreams. I know maybe other people you're saying it's so easy to become a beauty queen, but it's not. It takes a lot of effort and time, but in the end, it's worth it. You just have to keep going and never give up on your dreams. And you will encounter high and lows, but during your low time, just don't give up and just keep moving, keep fighting for your dreams. Yes, don't be a quitter. Yeah. <laughs> and take it as a life lesson. I know, because you know, eventually you will learn a lot. You would, you would become mature. There are so much fun in joining beauty pageants. You would have um, meet a lot of people. You would have different kind of experiences. You would encounter um, different opportunities also. Yeah. So what's the best part for you? Well, for me, I met a lot of friends, which become, they become my family, my second parents. They are my guidance and my teacher. <laughs> I know you have a very grateful heart. Do you want to thank all your mentors out there oh, okay. who are watching um, right now? Yeah, I, would, I just want to say thank you to my KF family, to Rachel Flores, Gia Flores, Jerome Balote, George Garrido, and to my mentor in Palawan, Tom Fabula and Rupa Flores. Thank you for uh, guiding me and um, bringing the best of me. Well, once again, I would like to say congratulations for being our newest addition to ACTV family. Thank you so much also. Um, it was a great um, opportunity for me. And thank you for inviting me at Vegas Vibes. It was a great conversation. It's a pleasure having you. Thank you. I wish you all the best and good luck on your current and future endeavors. Thank you so much. Well, we're very excited that you're finally on board and we're here to help you every step of the way. So we would like to know what are you excited about? What are you looking forward to? Well, I'm very excited to work with you guys and I'm really grateful for this opportunity. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to to explore and to know more about Asian cultures and ethnicity. To, you know um, and be an off service to our viewers wonderful well I wish you all the best and congratulations once again thank you catch me again next week as I feature another amazing personality here on Vegas Vibes
Buying, keeping, or selling your home is one of the biggest decisions you and your family need to make in your lifetime. Specify a home inspector trusted by the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors. F10 Inspection Services has been serving the Las Vegas real estate industry for many decades, which secures all inspections with a $10,000 honor guarantee. F10 Inspection Services, proudly Asian American. Call 702-374-7377 now. For thousands of years, our ancestors have treated diseases and sicknesses by natural means using plant and earth materials like herbs and trees. In just 100 years, mankind has developed amazing scientific advancements that allow us to enjoy a better life. However, without proper balance, a poor diet, and lack of exercise, our health can deteriorate. Inflammation in the body becomes our worst enemy when it comes to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. So how do we prevent our health from declining? Natural Medicine A trusted name in the field of natural medicine is Herbax. For over 20 years, Herbax has been producing and distributing natural supplements. Herbax has developed unique patented formulas, duly FDA registered, that achieve optimal health results and help our body regenerate back to its normal functions. We invite you to look at Herbax to adopt new, healthier habits and live a natural lifestyle. Go to HerbaxUSA.com now. Jingles are the way of life to sell everything from clothes, products, and houses. Jingalicious has been there for many corporate companies to bring them the customers they need to thrive big all year round. Jingalicious can create unique sound designs, jingles, and custom songs. Mention this video commercial and get any of our services for only $500 each, a savings of thousands of dollars. We want to invite new clients to Jingalicious to make their dreams or business succeed with Jingalicious. Call us now at 702-302-9212. That's 702-302-9212. Or visit our website at www.jingalicious.com. Jingalicious. Our jingles are ready when you are. Jingalicious. We hope you enjoy watching this Vegas Vibes episode as much as I did. Promise to join me again next week on the same fabulous Vegas Vibes channel. And to all our global viewers out there, let me remind you that Las Vegas is not just about the world-renowned strip or the famous Fremont Street experience in the vibrant downtown district. It has real people, a lot of them musicians, live entertainers, and those involved in the world of pageantry. And to the people here in the Valley who work hard each day to make Las Vegas a global brand. I would like to feature you and your cool story right here on Vegas Vibes, either in the studios or online via Zoom. If you believe that's you, please email me now at vegasvibes1 at gmail.com. Before I go, I would like to thank my award sponsor, Anne Fontaine, located at the Forum Shops of Caesars Palace. Anne Fontaine is now open for business as well. You may call Miss Annie Billings at 702-733-6205 to make an appointment. And now, for my favorite segment, the Vegas Vibes Closet. <music> Yes.
yes, it features an intricate selection of health and beauty products, which I personally use. And this week, I have for you Oceanic Palette by Ace Boutique. The Oceanic Palette features a unique color story consisting of 15 colors that can be used to create stunning show, stopping looks. Each color has carefully milled and pressed to provide the easiest application and the most excellent color payoff. I just couldn't say enough good things about this palette. It's everything I wanted from a blue palette. The colors are amazingly bright, smooth, highly pigmented, and blends like a dream. I just love Ace Bute eyeshadow formula. It's fun, stunning, and great quality. Check it out, ladies. Below is the link if you wish to learn more about it or purchase it without any delay. Search for Vegas Flash Closet. Follow Vegas Flash on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, or check out VegasLife.us for updates and announcements. Once again, I'm your host, Esmeralda Padilla Gold. Thank you for watching. Mwah! has been a presentation of VATV.